Hi guys and welcome to Claire Priory. So in this video I am going to show you what it is like to do a craft fair. So uh, get all your paintings together and follow me to Claire Priory. All right I've just arrived at Claire Priory and it's late it's about seven o'clock and everyone else has sat up and gone home. I've just arrived so I'm just just literally about to set up so uh, this is the start of the craft fair for me so I've got two days to see how my art goes at a craft fair I'll show you show you what happens let's set it up all right so Marky is up and I'm dragging starting to drag all this around so I can start setting it up inside so that's where I'm gonna hang the paintings Right, obviously it's late, so everyone's closed up. So this is my little marquee. Just here. Maybe I should get a name made up for it. Pin on the front. If I do this again, I will get something made up. Actually, I might even get the sides printed up with some of my paintings. Just get the whole thing printed. This is my spot. So everyone's set up and gone home. It's already late. Doing what I did at the house, putting these up, and I've worked out where they're going to go. Just got to put them up and get all the paintings in. Right, got up at 6.30 this morning to set up, and um, so it's looking okay. Quite pleased with it. What I'm not pleased with it is, is a little bit of rain, which isn't great for a craft fair outdoors. Right, so this is kind of the stage I am at so far. Got all this stuff to sort out and try and hang. And then I want to get this table up to here, up to that yellow line. I were at the Clare Priory Craft Fair and I have set up my my store ready to sell. So anyway, I just want to show you what it looks like. Yeah, it was raining last night and raining a bit this morning. And thankfully, now, the sun is coming out. So hopefully it's going to be uh, hotter. Oh, there's my card. So in case anyone wants to get hold of me, richwatsart.com. Right, well, I've sold two, two paintings so far. Uh, I said to the guy, if you buy two, I'll give you a discount. So he did, so that was nice. Uh, so what have I learned? They like the theme. They like all the ones that are similar. Uh, I had a lady who does interiors and graphic design, who does interiors and like other people's houses. So that went down well. This is very useful. Have a card to give out and a website, so so people can find you when you are like when you're away from the fair. I think that's very useful. Having a website and having a card. Um, yeah, so it's now 120, 120, and so far it's going well. People, lots of people walk by and say, oh, beautiful, and they like it, and they like it. So, um, I've got another day and a half to go, so let's see what happens. I'll keep you informed. This is the front of the Priory. Lots of interesting little things. Green and he said, 
Well, that is the end of the first day. It's now five o'clock and it is packing up time. So I've sold three paintings today. Uh, hopefully I can sell a bigger one tomorrow and then that'll be me in profit after paying all my expenses. So that'd be great. But I have given out a lot of cards and made quite a few contacts. So with a bit of luck, people will get back to me. But um, people were really positive about my work and said they liked it and uh, yeah, so we'll see. Learn, learn, learn to play a bit today, so it's well worth doing. All right, it is day two at the uh, craft fair. Um, so we've just opened up, and uh, guys are in here today. My son is with me today, and uh, we're just having a little wander around the beautiful Clare Priory. So today is a blue sunny day, blue sky, sunny day. So we're hoping for some good sales later. Anyway, as usual, I'll show you what I do. Right, so this obviously is a priory, so some people live there, but there's also a shrine, it's got a religious element, so let's just go and have a look at the shrine. It's only 9.15, so we've still got an hour to go until it's time. Oh, look at this building, it's so cool. That roof. So this is the shrine. Right, this is inside the priory. Lovely old door. Maybe that's why I need to do some cards. Four for a fiver. Seems to be the going rate. The lovely beams. That's some silver work. Who's this lady? Oh man. Morning, hi. Oh, we can go out the back as well. And there's Rachel. <laughs> so we've had a slow morning today. Uh, I've only sold, it's quarter to one now, and I've sold one, one line of cut print, a lot of the ones that I'm trying to get rid of. Um, but I have given out a lot of cards and talked to some people uh, with possible ideas for commissions. So uh, I think it's well worth being face-to-face -face selling because uh, then you can talk to people one of the guys was interested in like a, a very big painting and wanted to know if I've got any bigger ones. So um, I said, well, I can do one. So, um, so there's a good possibility that I might get a commission out of it, which would be well and truly worthwhile. Well, it has now become very 
very quiet. It's the uh, Sunday afternoon lull and the football's on, so that probably doesn't help either. But yeah, it's been very quiet this afternoon. So um, anyway, what are, what, are our, what are the takeaways for doing a craft fair? Uh, well, I've had some very interested people who might lead to commission, so I've given them my card, so that is um, fantastic. Uh, I would I would suggest to anyone who fancies doing it, I would say uh, steal yourself and give it a go. Uh, I did this, I did it like nine years ago, and I said to myself then that if I did this <clears throat> and I wanted to dig a hole in the ground and die, that was it over, and <clears throat> and I didn't, so I carried on. So I would say give it a go, see what you think. It's a really good way of getting yourself out there meeting people, talking to people, getting direct feedback about your work, seeing what people think of it directly. And then if people like it, they can either buy it or they can commission you to uh, do some other ones. Have a website, have some way of taking payment. Um, I did some bank transfers and that worked quite well. Um, so yeah, I've sold the big one. I don't know if I said that, I've sold the big one. So basically I've covered all my costs for the weekend and made a tiny bit of money but most importantly i got myself out there and i met people and i talked to people and i got seen so it was a pretty successful weekend all in all and i'm extremely glad that i did it i'm happy with the results so anyway that's it it's over time to pack up very soon um so thanks for watching guys and don't forget if you like this please hit that subscribe button it helps me massively and I'll be doing some more videos along the way. So take care. See you soon. Bye for now.